Another episode of English Shorts. Today's lesson will be Figurative Language, Simile, Metaphor, Personification. Let's start with Simile. Now what happens is, a lot of times, we want to be more descriptive in our writing. Let's say somebody's very tall. We don't just want to say, he is tall, because that's what we call lame. So what we're going to do is use a simile to compare it to something. And similes use either like or as. And so what we can do is take something else that's tall, like a tree, and we begin to compare those. We say he is as tall as a tree, or he is tall like a tree. And then we have a simile. Now we can also do the same thing with a metaphor. And a metaphor is considered a stronger comparison. Because we don't use words like like or as. We make a direct comparison. So instead of saying he is like a tree, we say he is a tree. And that becomes more descriptive than a simile. And that leaves personification. Now, personification, we try to make something that's not a human or a person sound like a person. In this case, let's use our tree. If we say the tree was very scary, that's not very descriptive. That's what we call lame. So what we're going to do is make it sound personified by using personification. We could say that tree was frightening and reached out at me with its scary, scary arms. Since we have the tree sounding like a person, we have personification. And that is simile, metaphor, personification. 